At the time of filming, we are right in the middle of music festival season and the camping season, so I wanted to make this video to share with you my top acoustic guitar sing-along kind of campfire songs for a range of situations, a range of different vocal styles. All of these are my personal picks. I mean, it's, it's my list but they are with a range of people in mind. So with people with a high range, with a low range, um, all that kind of thing. And basically all of them are beginner friendly songs, but they're not the ones you might expect. I've gone, I've gone for some curveballs in here. So let me give you my top three first of all, because these are probably the easiest ones to play and the quickest to learn. We've got Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve, one Day Like This by Elbow, and Hey Jude by The Beatles. All those three have a lot more in common than you might think, but they are all great sing-along songs where everyone tends to know the words to them and you'll, you won't be singing on your own if you play one of these. Starting off with The Verve, I've actually taught this one in the past, and then after teaching it, I realized there was an even easier way to play it, which is how Richard Ashcroft plays it live, with just the E major, E sus4, D major, and then A major. And it kind of goes, you, you know how the song goes, but playing wise. Cause it's a bittersweet symphony, this life. And that's the whole song. You, literally, you can repeat that chord progression throughout the whole thing, and people hopefully will sing along. Um, one day like this, I would actually play this with capo third fret. Um, and Hey Jude as well. I will leave chord sheet links in the description, but I'll probably put them on my website just so it's a little bit neater. So the link to that will be the top of the description if you're watching on YouTube. One day like this, the sing-along bit at the end is Though those curtains wide One day like this a year at Cine right. That was D major, C add nine, or just a C major chord would be fine. G major and back to D. And that's exactly the same with capo third fret. That's exactly the same as the end of Hey Jude. So, na 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 Hey Jude. <laughs> I can't sing that low. <laughs> Just sing along while I can't sing. <laughs> na 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 na, hey Jude. There are other chords in those songs, but it, uh, the other chords are pretty much D, uh, G, and A. So you can actually play along to those pretty quickly. Those would be my top three picks. I'll also I'll leave a link to the Spotify playlist um, that I made to kind of make this song. I didn't want to make this add this many to the list, but I didn't want to take any off either. Um, so, those are kind of more for a male vocal, even though they can work for a female vocal. Any of these can work for a male or female vocal. I don't think that should hold anyone back from singing a great song. But there are uh, a couple of top picks for a female vocal. I think the Cranberries were so influential and they have some great sing-along songs. Zombie is the obvious one. Uh, e minor, C, G and D pretty much through the whole song, you know, one of those four chord song ones. But I've taught that one in the past. One I haven't taught by the Cranberries is Linger, which is a, a D chord, A major, C major and G all the way through. Kind of like this. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? I think you get a few people singing along to that. And it's a bit more of a subtle one than Zombie, which is all fully in your head, you know? So Zombie's a bit aggro, so you've got one for either situation there. Another one for, well, with a female vocal in the original, is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Um, you just always, you can't go wrong with playing this song. You can't seem to overplay this song either. It's just, it's just a good song. Isn't it? um, it's got the F chords, but an easier way to, so that you're not barring throughout the entire song, like for a three minute song, just ah, F chord. You can do this instead. You could do the, the easiest way to do it is the F major seven, which is like this. And just sliding that two frets 
would get you through the whole song, but I'd encourage adding the third and little finger on like this. And that's how I would play this song. That's how I've taught it in the past, and it kind of goes. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. You can do that for the whole song. There's the little bit in the middle. Do, 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 do. chord that adds is actually the A minor chord. Uh, I've got a tutorial for that one if you need a bit more help with it. But moving on, because I don't want this video to take forever, um, we're going to do a Foo Fighters song, paying respects to Taylor Hawkins, my hero, probably a great tribute to him and also um, a great sing-along number. The chorus to that, Asus 2 to E major. My hero, watch him as he goes. You can add in. The extra bits from kind of, from the electric guitar version if you want. But I do have an electric and acoustic tutorials for those, so um, you got more help with that if you need. The other one would be uh, Everlong. Probably says like the Foo Fighters want to do. Can take a little bit to retune. Take a portable tuner with you if you uh, if you can get one. So a little bit more to it, but that chorus is going to have plenty of people singing along. Bonus one. Because there's loads of Foo Fighters ones. Probably learn to fly. Looking through the sky to see. Looking for a sound life. A sus2, E minor, and D major. Optional capo at the second fret to keep it in the key of the original. Uh, but whenever you have a low capo, like a capo first fret or second fret, you don't have to have that. That's just to keep it in the tune. Uh, or the key of the original recording. Now for any outdoor music festival or for any camping, weather's always gonna be a factor. So it can be funny, even if the weather's not good to do one based on the weather. Uh, we've got Weather With You by a Crowded House. Anywhere you go, always take the weather with you. That's like an Asus 4 to a D major. Anywhere you go, always take So very similar. Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17? Yeah, basic chords, key of D major. It would be capo second fret to put that in the key of the original. But D major, A major, G will get you through most of that song. Last two songs now, and I've gone for Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles and an Oasis one. I'll keep you waiting for the Oasis one. Watermelon Sugar, same four chords all the way through the song. A D minor uh, seven, that's your D minor. D minor seven is like this. To A minor, C major, and G no capo. Watermelon Sugar high, Watermelon Sugar high. Watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. Whole song, you'll get people singing along to that. And the Oasis song that I've picked is Don't Look Back in Anger. I have loads of tutorials on that one with um, no capo, playing it more strict to the original recording. But when the High Flying Birds do it, if they did it in original key, which I believe they do, Noel, Uncle Noel puts a capo at the fifth fret because he has an absolute aversion to bar chords, and don't we all, let's be honest. Um, so, because he's bone idle, <laughs> he plays it like he plays every other song. And it sounds a bit like whatever when he strums it. So kind of slip inside the eye of your mind. Don't you know you might find a better place to play? Now the cool thing about knowing that is that middle bit, or the bridge, so I start a revolution from my bed. 
That's how he plays that section with the high flying birds, which kind of gets rid of the So I start a revolution from my bed. That's C minor, as it would be here, or kind of the F to F minor if we're doing it without a bar, without a capo. It gets rid of that section and just swaps out that chord for just the C add nine. And all the rest of it is the same, it's just put into the key of G. So that's something to play about with. And that's a final takeaway from this. Whatever songs you learn, make them your own. Do it your way. If you need to move the capo down a little bit because it sounds better for your voice, do it that way. If you totally simplify the strumming to the point where the strumming is nothing like the original, well, go for it. If it sounds good to you, it is good. And don't be put off if it doesn't go exactly as you would expect, because that's the fun of it. Embrace the chaos. Embrace the fear of playing with, with other people in front of other people. But if you focus on trying to get anyone that you're with singing, doing the singing for you, doing the work for you, essentially, it's a lot more enjoyable experience because it is that experience of coming together and making music and singing as a whole, which is when the whole thing transforms from you focusing on what you're playing and trying to make sure your chords ring out and everything like that to just having fun and whatever happens, happens. And even if you miss a chord here or there, the singing should hopefully keep going. So just join in at the next bit. It's all good. Let me know your suggestions uh, down below. Also let me know any of these songs that you want a, uh, a tutorial for, a bit of a longer tutorial, and I'll get those up for you now. And all the best. Have a great summer or have a great camping trip. And I hope the playing of these songs goes really well.